So you invented this data mesh, right? So if I may describe data mesh from your book, you mentioned data mesh is a decentralized social technical approach to share, access, and manage analytical data in complex and large scale environments within or across organizations. So there are so many interesting topics, but the first that I picked is actually, you mentioned it as a decentralized socio-technical approach. So tell us more about this. Sure. It actually started as an architecture because I am a technologist. So I kind of applied the lens of technology to solve problems. So I saw this as really an architecture to organize how we decouple and how we break down this big problem of how I get value from data. But very quickly, I realized, as we know, Conway's law and just real life experience, technology and architecture mirrors and get influenced by the way we organize our organizations and teams. So very quickly, I had to like self-correct. No, this is not just a technical solution. No, this is not just an architecture. We've got to rethink the organization of teams, the modes of communications, the contract for data sharing between the teams and the responsibilities like data product owner was a new role that we introduced. So hence it became a socio-technical as in we try to find excellence in our solutions involving the interaction of people and teams and the technology. Some people say, oh, it's a techno-social or is it the social techno? I don't really care which one comes first, as long as they're both involved. <laughs> Hence the word. Thanks for sharing that. It seems like the Conway's loss is really like a true principle in many software design or architecture, right? So I think data mesh is probably one of it. And you mentioned that it is an approach to solve complex and large scale data problems. So does it mean that not everyone will need to go to data mesh since the beginning? Yeah, I think at this point in time, I mean, I answer usually this question by saying, well, at this point in time, if you don't have the organizational complexity, if your lake or lake house or warehouse model is not a bottleneck for you, if the centralized data team is doing a great job and everyone's happy, well, why introduce a concept that's rather complex? It creates kind of system complexity. So yes, the short answer is yes, it's not for everyone at this point in time. And maybe in future, Technology advances, our thinking, our approaches, our process advances in a way that bootstrapping with data mesh is as easy as bootstrapping or even easier than it centralized. So then at that point, you say, well, this mesh is for everyone because the maturity of support of the environment has reached that level of maturity. So you have shared all these problems, challenges that you saw before and you came up with this concept. But for those people who are already in this state of complexity dealing with their data, either data architecture pipelines and things like that on organization that is very large scale, maybe global, where they have all these data challenges. Maybe tell them what are some of the reasons why they should consider moving to data mesh. So maybe in business value or maybe in some kind of more impact value driven kind of a benefits. Yeah. Just simply, if they want a subtitle of my book, if they want to get value from their data, generate data driven value. And they want to do that by applying analytics and AI in almost every aspect of their business. And they want to, you to do that. They need to utilize data from all aspects and all touch points and all applications inside the company and outside. If they have such a mission and they want to do that reliably, resiliently, and do that at scale fast, then they've got to consider data mission. It's all about really unlocking the value of the data. So let's give a real world example. If you are in a particular part of the business, let's say I use this example in my book of a Spotify-like company, I called it DAF Inc. It's a digital streaming company. And if you have a team whose job is really to create immersive musical experiences, personalized for every moment of every person in the world, depending on what they do. That team constantly comes up with new hypotheses on how to use data about music and artists and listeners and their behavior to create a more immersive experience, more personalized to that moment in life. Every one of those hypotheses, they require discovery of the data and access to the data. So are they going to be more successful to be able to discover and get access to the data and even ask people to provide the data if the data is not there if they were working in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion? Or are they going to be more successful if it was a centralized team in between all parts of the business? So as an example, if the playlist team, the generalist immersive playlist, want to create targeted music for people if they're doing cycling or running, 
are they going to be more successful to go and talk to teams that are taking care of partnership with cycling platforms directly and say, look, we need to see what people are responding to when they're on their pelotons, I suppose, as an example. Or are they successful if they say to a middleman, data broker team and say, look, I have this hypothesis. So as all of these other teams that you need to now put on your centralized backlog and plan somewhere and get me to the data that I need. That doesn't scale. So imagine your organization, imagine the missions and the values that can be enabled through the data and see if you have bottlenecks that need to be addressed. And if you do, then think about data mesh. The way you describe this use case is very interesting because yeah, maybe not all organizations are in this state where you have data and you do discovery and maybe shape the next set of data that the application produced. Again, do a hypothesis and maybe analyze and then again, reshape the data over and over iteratively. And then maybe one day you will come up with a new insights and maybe new business lines as well, because the data has transformed so much with the scale of the discovery and also the scale of the hypothesis that the team does. So I think that's really a very interesting concept. I haven't experienced it myself because I haven't worked in this kind of organization, but thanks for sharing that. 